this is our traditional homestead and uh, this is where we come to do a lot of our ceremonial work and a lot of the work that we do with people and we're going to show ourselves through and see the different components so we have different layers of entrances so we've just been through the stockade entrance which goes into the yard and now we're going through the entrance into the compound and each of these we use as thresholds when we do our work um, these on our either side are traditional kind of huts which are made out of mud and dung and grass and uh, there are four of them in a compound which is enclosed and um, each thing here is symbolic in some way and comes from the traditional world that we come from in southeast Botswana and it's made out of the traditional things which come from the very soil so it's as if this homestead has sprung up from the soil um, yeah so here we do our work this is where our groups come um, maybe you can introduce the moko yeah um, it's a uh it's representative of a traditional homestead this and one of the things that's important about it is that it represents a way of life which has more or less disappeared from southern africa now um, it's become hybrid it's become a mixture of traditional ways and uh, western industrialized ways as globalization sweeps the subcontinent um, but what we uh, the work that we do predominantly is, is based in the belief that in order for us to find a way back to uh, some kind of restorative relationship with the planet, we're really going to have to uh, look back into our pre-industrial ancestry and ask very deep questions about how we once lived um, and what living symbiotically with the rest of the living planet might look like. Uh, and so this place, in its traditional sense, is a, quite a strictly traditional place, really represents an intermediary point between modernity, the world of our industrialized, globalized way of being, and our pre-industrial ancestry um, globally, because we all had ancestry that once lived uh, symbiotically with the natural world. Um, but uh, here in Southern Africa, we, we were very fortunate to have grown up in a time when there still was a lot of these traditions and we grew up in wilderness among people who had a very deep relationship with wilderness. And so, as Neil was saying, this, this place grew up out of the soil of here, but it also grew up out of the soil of our childhoods, of how we grew up and lived and how what we were introduced, what we were fortunate enough to be introduced to and um, taught and uh, our hope is to bring some of this back and share it with people as we bring them here and uh, hopefully we can begin to recognize those old ways that we once had of living symbiotically with the natural world.